first off, uh, we talked a lot not last week about uh, on September 29th, Smile Direct Club filed Chapter 11 bankruptcy. A lot of murmurs going on about uh, will this be the end of Smile Direct Club? And there were some pros and cons being expressed on different open platforms. Well, we're getting a little bit more clarity this week on what this really means. Of course, we talked last week about this being a restructuring of debt and that the founders have injected another $20 million in capital investment to try to find a new buyer for the group. That's right. So NASDAQ has actually delisted the stock and removed it from the exchange. Uh, so currently stocks are not being able to be bought or sold. Um, this is part of some of the SEC filings that they put together in conjunction with their bankruptcy filing last week. It looks like Smile Direct Club is on the market for a new owner, and the investors have put money in to carry it through until it can find a new owner or a new investor. If by November 23rd, they have not found a new investor or able to close on an acquisition deal, then they will probably be moving forward with a liquidation event. So I think we'll all be watching this pretty closely. This would be the first major DIY application that was available to the general marketplace for at-home dental procedures. And I do think it will be really interesting to then see what the ripple effect will be for some of these other companies as we discuss this weekend with the Snap-on Smiles, the at-home denture processors, uh, that are now starting to pop up and the other DIY orthodontic companies that are doing it, quote unquote, with some minimal supervision. Um, so this, you know, is definitely something both to be watching from an investor and from someone who kind of follows the stock market a bit. Um, it, it could be an indication of uh, economic changes in the landscape that's happening there. But as a dentist, it's definitely interesting to see what the DIY marketplace may be reflecting and what the demand and acceptance and tolerance for those services will be. So we'll continue to watch that. Sounds like November 23rd is going to be the big date for Smile Direct Club to get it together. Here's another totally weird story. Post Malone was visiting in Rome, Italy when he bit into a McDonald's chicken nugget and yes, popped off, as we all know, he has a very uh, flashy grill popped off a $600,000 diamond that he has bonded onto one of his canines. Well, as if that wasn't a bummer enough, it then somehow made its way into the plumbing system of this in the sink of the bathroom or wherever he happened to be at the time. I think he it may have popped off. He had it in his hand. He went to the bathroom to maybe try to reaffix it or so. somehow it ended up in the sink. His comment was, now I'm going to have to go into the ancient sewers of Rome to find my diamond. Now, while he's worth $45 million, he was pretty dead set on getting his $600,000 diamond back out of the sewer system. While in the bathroom, he rigged up some kind of uh, retrieval device with a couple different, he kind of MacGyvered the thing back out of the sewer. Uh, the article was quick to note with thorough cleaning, he then went to an Italian dentist who rebonded the $600,000 diamond back into his canine. So fear not, the diamond has been returned to its rightful place on the facial surface of either number six or number 11. So we're glad to hear that Post Malone did not cry over the loss of his diamond from a chicken nugget from McDonald's. Lastly, the ADA obviously had their smile con last weekend as we were discussing and were present for uh, SmileCon is a popular meeting, not just for the CE activity that's happening there, but also uh, that is when the governing body of the ADA gets together and discusses potential changes in bylaws and policies, and they elect their officers. So certainly a new slate of officers has been elected. But here's one thing that's very interesting that to date, uh, in all of my time in organized dentistry, I have not seen before, the ADA approved a decrease in their dues membership of 5%. Uh, the total value dollar dollar value of that decrease was $30, which dropped their dues membership down to $570. Interesting, interestingly enough, in the article, they noted that part of this was a response to the tripartite discussion um, and what that has meant, meant for dues escalation over the last five to 10 years. 
So the ADA, in recognition of both economic challenges for dentists, and they're seeing the data better than anybody, has made the first step in decreasing dues. And I have to applaud them for that. And I think other organized groups may have to look at the same, especially if they're continuing to struggle to uh, get membership as all dentists are continuing to look at those membership applications that come across their desk at the end of every year to determine where the best investment is of their money. Um, and there's only so much in the pot. Um, and so it's interesting to see the ADA's response. And with that, that's the news.